Good evening, and welcome back to The Crust, where I am looking at some things here, and um, so we need to do this, which means a fundamental sign ad, but we're nowhere near fundamental science yet, so that's fine, we'll just, we'll just leave that for a minute, that's not all that important. Um, uh, you don't have any power, that's alright, can I power down the room? No. That's interesting. So turning off the wall doesn't actually power down the room. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to break the power line to the wall. So that nothing in there drains any power whatsoever. Because we don't want it running yet. We don't need it running yet. It's not important. Um, power is a bit of a problem for us. Because we don't have that much. we got a 600 bank... And we need, hello, we've got two different power grid works. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, grid number two, we have to ignore that. Uh, 492 output, uh, yeah, 492 input and 600 output. Okay, that's easy enough, right. Uh, so, um, yeah, we need to get more things going and do more things and change more things and do more stuffs, which is fine. Um, I've left space here things so I haven't really enough space to um to get out of these guys here I've left no gaps in between them so I can't uh one we couldn't get two in there anyway so what if I did what if we did If I can stagger them by one. Then we can get outputs coming out of them and like coming down to here to have an elevator come up. And then we can do the same like up here for things as well. Right now, um, I've got no real way of getting stuff like rare earth metals. I've got no way of getting it upstairs um, unless I can tap into something uh tap into this um and i, I want to send things upstairs because I've, I've done it before i've built this this sort of thing and i rely on the rovers the box coming down pick up stuff and come back in that's a distance normally i have these boxes right next to the elevator and it works but now it's a distance we need to have these boxes storing stuff upstairs um so i need to do that but the biggest problem to that is um, a elevator can only deal with four things at once. And I don't want to multi-fill a belt because that does all sorts of weird things. And So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is two elevators already. So how do I do that? I mean, we could come off of these guys um, and go up there. Um, but the, this is, I mean, do I even need these here? We could have the, uh, the elevators just replacing these. Um, and then obviously these are the splits between them. And then these are the buffers for the, uh, the stuff going down the line. And we just fill it to the top and then we just increase our production. Just go nuts and go ham on the production. Uh, to get things going faster because we do need to get things going faster um i thought that stopping the aurora project um uh would would um prevent the laser cannon thing from triggering however in my streams of the game that i'm playing where i'm doing a slightly different playthrough but um it's the same sort of principle i'm on this exact mission <laughs> this exact mission and the laser project started uh, and it was in 2084 I don't remember what month, but I remember it was 2084. So we've got three years, maybe. Maybe it's a time-based one. I don't know. Maybe something to do with this, because I actually did this as well, because we tried to rescue all the colonists. So maybe not completing that. I do know there's a little trickery thing where if you don't build the farm, it apparently stops the story. I built the farm. Maybe it'll stop the story with the fundamental science lab. I don't know. Um, but uh, 
yeah i need to start looking at getting things upstairs to, to have the mass storage rather than storage is down here have these little ones down here and the mass storage is upstairs and then just ramp up production like mad but like just go go ham with it go completely ham with it so So if we were to put an elevator in like here instead, um, here, that one goes into it, that goes into it, that goes into it. So it would have to go like like here, or whatever. So it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But the elevators will go. They'd replace these. We'd replace these with elevators instead. Um, we still have the belts go through, and then the belts would split to the elevators, which would be in between them. Which are, you can't actually get an elevator in between them because there's only two gaps in between them, but that's fine. Um, or I'm trying. Also, that's the thing. Where do I put the elevators? Do we put them down here? Do we put them above? Can't go above because we're going to continue coming up, and then stuff's going to come down to the elevators here. So the landing pad to be here, maybe. If this is where our elevators go, the landing pads will go this side or that side of it or both yeah yeah that's what we'll do that's what we'll do okay okay uh, and we need to ramp up production like absolute mad uh, you are mining out stuff right to the edge of the map which is awesome so yeah uh, okay okay so if that's the case i want to uh break all of these and have you drop it into these little ones instead and then put these upstairs and then yeah so break them all just break them all come on let's just, just, just stop stop faffing about and get it done okay um i'm also hoping that these things dry out at some point pretty soon it's twenty four thousand units there so uh, oh yeah uh we want social don't we um and i'm gonna get i don't know how much money we've got this needs updating to show me how much money I've got because I don't know how much I've got. Uh, I'm going to get the hundred for ninety days, for fifty thousand. We've got one hundred ninety thousand. Okay, so we can get some more social going in there because our tech tree is suffering from a lack of social. So, um, okay. Uh, how are we doing for rovers as well? Let's have a look at the rovers quickly. Oh, they're cheap. Uh, about a couple of rovers. How many have we got? How many have we got? Hang on, let's have a look here. So I've got nine miners, ten bots, and five haulers. I'd like to get another six if I can. I don't think I can. No. <laughs> 200,000. Okay. Um, let, let's not. Let's not for the moment. Let's not for the moment. Let's leave this. Let's get things going here that we want to do first here. So. So how is it I want to be doing this? How is it I want to be doing this? So um, let's connect. Is that as far as we can go for undergrounds? It is for the moment. Okay. Let's um, let the belts up. And then we'll put the elevators in above. Put letter storage there, but no, we'll put the elevators in above here. So we'll have like one here, one here. Because I can't really put them in here because there's no, I'll put them here. And then split off of it, and I could say, ah, that's right. Hold on, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put it here. Yep, right there. Bump. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will have this one split off here and go in the bottom. Like that. This one split off here and go into there. This one split off here and go into there. And this one split off here and go into there. All. but i'm going to have this prioritize the bus over the uh the elevator so that we are um 
feeding the main feed because like, these are the main items we need these are the main feed into the bus first to produce things then when it comes up here these are splitting evenly so that um, the titanium plates will split evenly between the, the uh, going upstairs and going down the line I really hope I know there's more things coming but I would really like in the conveyor settings for this to be the basically the same as this it needs to be this as well so i need to lock it i also need to be able to filter resources and things i know that you're only going to have one output on this so you don't need to filter resources but i would also like to have priority outputs on these um they did also i uh, saw on the uh also on discord or somewhere that um you're going to be able to set a limit inside these boxes so we could say hey you're going to hold 150 before you start outputting and then your drones can come and pick up from these boxes um and uh um, so, but they can use that so they won't output onto belts unless they break a threshold so you could have a storage um, and go would you store keep half of it in stock and then once you've overfilled half go for the rest so yeah okay so this comes out here and then we want to build storages up here uh, i'm not sure how many storages we need i'm gonna go with lots um like real lots like like stupid amounts of lots so um Research and me. and if we right pause the game if i put in the storages here for instance and we put the landing platform say here somewhere um i like to surround the landing platform but i don't know how many goods they're actually i mean like we need not all of these but <laughs> um uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i've never seen a contract for food uh eleven no 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 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 but we can't make any yourself so we need 18. i've never seen contracts for food for organics or for medicines which does surprise me but yeah um the energy cells aren't in the game yet and there are no contracts for the for the base materials there is one for slag but we're not fussed about that for the moment um so uh so yeah so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so we need to surround the landing pad with eighteen of these guys okay how do one how does we do that so one Two, two, three. See, that's going to smash it there. So, uh, 18 divided by four. Four and a half. So, we need four on each side. Okay. Okay. No, we can do that. We can do four on each side. That'll work. That's, that's not, that's not difficult. That's actually not all that difficult. Uh, one, two, three four all right that's not actually that difficult uh and then i want buffers behind them as well so um and then they feed into these and then the boxes just go ha grab no, 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 no. Many people talk about the flight center um, uh, in the game. Uh, the flight center here, it has inputs. However, it has eight inputs. And as you see, we need 18 different types of goods. So to use it efficiently, you can wire it up with the belts and do bits pieces of that. Um, unfortunately, you have, I think, four, five, five inputs. So it's got five inputs and four outputs, I think. Yeah, five inputs and four outputs. So you need to get 18 things into five inputs, which is complicated possibly 19 because of energy cells but we'll go with 18 18 into five inputs okay um which means you need to have belts do multi things like you so you need like like three into one belt now the problem to that is that the three will just output into the belt and they'll go to a merger so we have um uh we have uh, one coming from this side uh, so that that's going to the flight center bomb Bomb like that okay they do that so these three come in to this here and they will fill up all the way to here now the splitter or merger doesn't stop goods entering if it can't exit all it does is stop goods exiting so if the flight center 
doesn't want steel and you've got steel coming down this could fill up with steel and then just stop and block up your whole system so you need to manually come to the boxes and use the conveyor settings to turn on and off the inputs and outputs as and when you do now the flight center does have the output so you can output stuff back around back into your boxes but none of that's automated. You've got to all do stuff manually. You've got to turn on and off the boxes as and when you want stuff coming into it. You can't have feed coming up from downstairs um, to the top floor and then going around the loop because eventually the loop will fill. Down the underground will fill the boxes and then the loop will stop because the uh, the steel that's not being used comes back out of the flight center, goes around to steel boxes, but the steel boxes are full because they're full from downstairs, which blocks the belt up. It's, it's just, it's not automated. You have to manually turn off things. I don't like that. I don't like that. This setup means you can um, have all your boxes full of the bits pieces you need, have a load of drones ready. You do need drones, granted, that's the thing there. And then when you take a contract, it comes in, it lands, the drones do it, and it takes off, and you do nothing. So I don't like the flight center. That is a personal thing. I just personally do not like the flight center. So that's just my thing so yeah okay so with this in mind here so that's that's my that's my rant over thank you for coming to my ted talk um uh so with this here um if we say this is one elevator yeah and this is going to be four and those four are going to be these four boxes we then put another elevator there one here and one here does that make sense i think that makes sense however we do very much want to expand this out to have multiple storages um like i'd kind of like to get maybe three but there's no way i can turn these sideways which um is a bit of a shame uh it would be nice if i could turn these sideways so i can cram in more something like that but then if we did it up here we're then dropping down to only having um eight instead of 16 going around so we'll stick with this plan like this and i just need to figure out um so let's say i want to have um i can't actually come down here and store it down here as well because then we can't do it for that one there so um if we had three like that um these can store uh let's go with steel they store 2048 unfortunately if you go with something like modular frames they only store 512 so and I know one of the latest drill contracts requires um, 3,000. However, this is only for the landing platform. This is not for the expedition center. Okay, so they're gonna have to pick up from here to come there. That's not so bad though. That's that's still pretty close. Yeah, if they pick up from here and walk down to here, this is just for making contracts fast. I've realized we, want this. we can move the expedition center to be closer to it. Uh, the exhibition center also has inputs, but it has a grand total of four inputs and two configurable outputs, I believe. Um, I really, really, really wish that this becomes the norm for every output. I really wish they could become uh, these ones. Uh, I don't think I can. Oh dear, I don't think I can catch anything to it because I put it too close to the. Um, I know we can. Boom, there you go. Uh, so these ones, if we build that, um, we can click configure and oh no we can just turn it off okay huh i thought they were configurable you lied to me game no it's the cargo excuse me uh the cargo dock here um the um the belts on it are configurable so i don't think i can do it uh until we've actually built no i can't do it until we've built thing but you can configure the belts to output stuff that you want to output on different belts so you could say hey reg lift comes out here and all the rest of the stuff comes out there so that so to so do that i really wish that was just standard i really wish that was standard so um so if we did this here that's fine and then what if we went and changed up some stuff maybe with these guys because we're going to split this either way this is only storing 512 but we could absolutely have more storage underground for things and then just bring it up and then the bots just grab things i know we need ridiculous amounts of storage when it comes to modular frames and stuff so um okay right i like this plan i like this plan so what if we went with uh, uh so 
this is the elevator coming up this is in the fixed position now we need to have these around it Like that. This uh, would go uh, up to and over two, like that. So it's it's even all around. You will then feed into that one and that one, and this will feed into that one and into that one. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that would work. actually space this out a little bit more than it was before that's okay though because that means that maybe i could um actually space these out a little bit more like that yeah. uh put you there put you there is that correct that's not correct i'm thinking about how to get the belt from this into here um actually it would want to go into the back one wouldn't it so this would want to come out and go into the back one if we had two of them um come on come on come on there there. the problem is that they're not actually touching each other so um so this is incorrect this is incorrect build uh, so we would actually have the uh storages be there and there which puts you Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I know, I know I'm not doing a great deal, but I, I don't want to unpause the game whilst I'm building these things because the bots will come and start building them and I'm not sure if it's in its final positions where I want it to be. So that would go there. Okay. Um, and there's an elevator here and then this elevator will come out and go along and plug into the back of the because I would like to double the storage at least up here anyway. Um... At the very least, have it double storage. Like that. Um, and then you would come out of here and plug into like that one. We could make it plug into the end. Uh, it doesn't have to, so I'm not going to. Plug into there. You come out and plug into there. You come out and plug into the end of that one. And you come out and plug into the end of that one. Like that. And then we just do another elevator. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, so if I don't use tab to go down and use cap caps lock. So I have another elevator here, which would be for the next four. So that would be for the iron, titanium, titanium plates and components. Then we put another one here, which would be for whatever the next ones are. And then we put another one here. And this is the awkward one because it's kind of in the way of being here. It's kind of in the way. So maybe we'll do this one next, which would be for the, the four we currently have, so we can wire that all in. Um, and then we'll do the next one there, and the next one, the next one will be there. And one. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have to figure out plugging these all into each other. I'm only using Mark 1 belts because um, we can always upgrade them later if we need to. But to be honest with you, because uh, I'm planning to not have any people, I don't think we're going to be producing uh, stuff at a high speed. Um, build. 
okay and then we we'll have to configure whatever these things are so yeah okay uh, and it doesn't matter what, what order we put them in as well it doesn't matter what order we put them in because this is like a, a multi balancer merger thing it just has an inventory and it will output on the belts depending on what's in it and output it and things so uh, so what i really need to do is actually turn off your inputs i can't turn off your inputs uh, can i turn off your outputs okay turn them off for the minute so that we don't actually have anything doing think bananas so if i click this you see it's got an inventory of 16 of each type of thing um and upstairs it will not have that inventory but when it can output it will output to them i don't want it filling belts with random stuff right now so there we go that's our layout okay let's do the next one uh which is uh uh, no copy elevator Cop i can't copy the elevator elevator is not copyable interesting um and this elevator wants to go there okay let's go down let's see where this is it's actually not in a bad place it's not in a bad place uh this can go underneath um and, and get out there that's not a major problem um we need to bring Aluminium. Um, so aluminium. Go to there. You'll come down and plug into that one. The easiest way for you to do this. Yes, you come down and plug into that one. Steel will come down and plug into that one. Uh, uh, prioritize the bus and you prioritize the bus. And then we need to bring titanium down. Now, titanium is actually coming up here. So. I could tap into the titanium here. Uh, via a little bit of... Uh, then I can't have it continue on. Uh, yes, I can. So we'll do that. And then if I get rid of those two. And then do that. Okay. Boom. And then you plug into that one down there and build all and then you prioritize the uh, bus okay so you go up to the bus first and you'll fill the storages which is not exactly what i want if i'm talking about it actually um but we no longer need this line here that's not needed okay because it's not coming back to here uh this won't be needed either we're not coming back to here so that's fine is this the drop off this is the drop off so i probably actually want it coming out of here so i don't i don't actually want this no no we don't actually want that what we want um is uh, this to come up and just uh like do something like that there you go right, so you come up there we want you to actually come out of here and come down because i want it after the storages so this is the buffer so when the thing fill up we've also got a buffer here for the bus as well so we're doing double so all these were empty upstairs but they're like another little buffer and i always want to have the outputs after the buffers hopefully i'm making sense um i'm i'm, I'm talking i'm convincing myself that this is a good idea um so yeah um so if we did that uh, you would run a line along there and split there and then you would go into the bottom there and that doesn't affect this row it does affect this row but this can go under and come back up again okay build all and prioritize the bus you will then come out of your storage and then basically come straight back down again to here um and then this is where stuff becomes complicated because i need you to be able to reach past that and you can't reach past that 
how do I do this? We can use double. We can use different uh, conveyors here. So, um, like for instance, if I use the Mark II conveyor here, uh, Mark II conveyor under, underground, sorry, to there, to there. Um, it won't go any faster because it's still connected via Mark I belts. However, because it's a Mark II conveyor, and then we go back to Mark I belts and pick this, that connects to the Mark I side of it. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, uh, I'm going to move one away from there, and then we'll run this as far along as we can get it uh, to, like, uh, actually, let's try and even this out between the two, shall we? Um, so, there, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, there you go. Okay. You can come out there and then you come out uh, however far along we want to have you. I don't know. Um, I don't know whether Alan. What is this? This is. This is. This is silicon. I'm not sure if silicon's needed for the next thing. What is the next thing? What's the next factory? Microcircuits. Yes, silicon is needed for microcircuits. So this is in the worst place it could possibly be. <laughs> Maybe we'll skip microcircuits uh, and we'll go somewhere else, like a fuel factory which requires ice and stuff. Uh, the ice might come in from down below. Uh, I might do the ice from down below um, and then it just needs aluminium, which is this one here. Which we can then under yeah I, th I think we'll skip the micro circuits we'll do the micro circuits afterwards because otherwise this is going to be a real pain to do but but you can see here um that the um the mark two belts do not connect to mark one undergrounds so you can do this you can have different underground belts on the same line saving you space and still connecting things if i build that that's fine so this comes comes down and connects to this and this comes along goes under and connects to this but doesn't mess up inside here so cool okay so run that out there, run that down there, build and change priority to go that way. Cool. Okay. So we'll leave this here. We shall come back next time. We shall carry on from there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>